Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie. If you are new here, it is my birthday, so I want to do some birthday makeup. So if you guys want to hang out while I do some birthday makeup, then just keep on watching. I really just want to do like a red smoky eye. Like I want to take it back to like my youth on this day of my birth <laughs> and uh, just do like a classic like emo kid red smoky eye. Like I'm going to channel like Gerard Way here. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette from Morphe and I'm going to start out with this brush right here which is kind of flat but still super fluffy and I'm going to go into this bottom shade down here crazy and start packing that all over my lids. The irony here being of course it is on the day that I'm filming this not actually my birthday. <laughs> um, it is actually my wedding anniversary today in my time. You guys are seeing this on my birthday and but I'm filming it on my wedding anniversary which of course I filmed the video that went up right around our wedding anniversary like a month in advance so for just a moment I'm gonna suspend time and it's gonna be my birthday am I doing anything fun on our anniversary no we're gonna go to Ikea we're gonna go get new tires put on our car <laughs> am I doing anything fun on my actual birthday no I will be at work I will say though this is always like such an expensive time of year for myself and for everybody in my life because it goes our wedding anniversary and then three weeks later it's my birthday followed up by Thanksgiving and then a month later Christmas and my dad's birthday my dad's birthday is on Christmas and then just a little over a month later is my husband's birthday so all within the span of October to January is like anniversary celebrate birthday birthday Christmas birthday <laughs> just back to back to back to back it's a little darker in here but I had to close the blinds because there was like a line of Sun that was coming across my mirror and where it was hitting was like right on my face and like I couldn't see myself all right next up I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush I'm gonna go into the shade living my best I'm gonna start blending out crazy is it just like absolutely insane to anyone else that it's already November like the middle of November I have no concept of time anymore I think a lot of us lost concept of time over the past three years but three and a half four years I don't know man I feel like I just took down my like Christmas decorations and now they're about to get put back up and then last but not least I'm gonna take just like a regular fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into love handles just to really ease out this transition I might even wear my bad omens beanie today instead of a ponytail I don't know I I'm gonna go put on a wing because of course and do my base and I will be right back okay I was like really into the video that I was watching so I just kind of kept going and did my cream cheek products <laughs> what is my hair doing okay so for blush I'm gonna use the Disney Ulta Beauty blush and highlight palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Kilimanjaro Safaris we'll say especially as like a, a makeup lover one of the best things about having a birthday right before Black Friday is I always get like like my Ulta birthday coupon, like my $10 off coupon in November, which just works out great for Black Friday. And I always get like, you know, usually we'll get like a Ulta gift card for my birthday or something like that from someone. So same with, uh, I'm a big fan of shopping at Kohl's. I think a big part of that is because I used to work there. So I know like what's good there and what's not good there and you know their clothes fit me really well I like a lot of their home stuff stuff like that and uh, bronzer I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible but I'm also just like deeply fucking knowledgeable about like how Kohl's runs pretty much I worked there for a very long time what is it oh for Veterans Day they always do a 
$10 off a $25 purchase coupon. That's like one day only on Veterans Day. It sucked working there that day, by the way. Honestly, kind of sucked working that day more than working Black Friday. Anyways, but I would always get my like Kohl's rewards, like, you know, birthday coupon as well. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's almost always either five or $10. So if I played my cards right on Veterans Day, I can get, buy something for $25 and only pay five or $10 for it. I will say though that nothing tops and happened in November. So it's not, it wasn't technically like a birthday present to me, but I considered it to be a birthday present, but nothing tops the first year I worked at Kohl's little baby. Kohl's does this thing. It's, I mean, they do it year, like all throughout the year, but it's this thing called their like friends and family discount and it's 20% off your purchase, right? And when you're a Kohl's employee, that's 20%. So you get one 20% off coupon, like a customer does. And then as a Kohl's employee, you can stack two 20% off coupons on top of your employee discount, which is 15% off. So during friends and family, and it doesn't add up, so it's not 55% off your purchase. It's It takes 20% off of, and then that total, it'll take 20% off of that total, and then it'll take 15% off of that total, or how, what, in whatever order it stacks up. Works out to be pretty close to the same. Regardless, that's, that's a good fucking deal. And that's also the only time for, this is a different story entirely, but they also once a year do like, a, you can do friends and family on electronics that don't usually get percent offs in like one year, right when the PS4 came out, because Kohl's sells those for some strange reason. I found a store near me that still had one in stock. It's like 45 minutes to an hour away from our house, but I bought it online because you can do it by online pickup in store. And I told my husband when he, well, he was my boyfriend. Was he my husband or was he my boyfriend at the time? No, I think he was still my fiance at the time, whatever, regardless. I was like, hey, we really got to run out to, you know, this specific place after work, blah, blah, blah. I didn't tell him. And then we show up at Kohl's and he's like, what the fuck are we doing here? You just got off work I'm from a different Kohl's. Why are we at this Kohl's an hour away? And I go up to customer service and I was like, I have an order to pick up. And he was probably thinking it was like some fucking candles or something stupid. And out they walk with a PlayStation 4 that I got like 20% off and then 20% off and then 15% off of. Killer deal. Back to my original story of the coolest. <laughs> Kohl's, not birthday present, but I consider it birthday present I ever got. It was the first year that I worked there. And they were doing a friends and family like in November. It might have even been December, to be honest with you. It, actually, I'm pretty sure it was December because I'm pretty sure it was like a, a holiday thing. I had the friends and family going and it was my first year working there and in my mind I'm thinking, okay, well, obviously I'm going to buy everyone I know's presents from here because, well, they sell clothes and toys and home stuff and like literally everyone that I knew that needed a present, Kohl's. I was there. I was... <laughs> constantly walking around that store. I knew everything that was in that store, right? And I was like, you know, freshly fucking like 20, first credit card, a Kohl's card. I think in total between shit that I bought for everybody and then just like shit that I bought for myself, I think my pre-discount total was like something like 600 fucking dollars. Like I dropped money that day. And I think when it was all said and done, I think it was, you know, somewhere around like $400 paid for on my Kohl's card because I was responsible that year. And I never saw them run this discount, like run this promotion ever again. As people were in the store, there would be a random like generator contest that would happen and random people at random registers would get their purchase for free. Like whatever they bought. And it wasn't, you know, like they didn't know in advance. So somebody could have come in and they were just buying like 
a candle and they could have gotten it for free. Other people could have been like me and were dropping like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars and got it for free. Super cool promotion, right? Definitely like a great way to incentivize people to come and shop at your store. But they were running that for employees as well. They ran it a little bit differently. They had you buy everything and then you submitted the receipt online and then, you know, a random generator would pick a receipt and it was store by store. So it wasn't like I was competing against every store. I was competing only against people purchasing stuff in my own store. And I'll admit the little advertisement for it in, in the break room wasn't very big. I don't think there was many people paying attention to it. Or maybe there was, maybe I just got really lucky. Regardless, my $400 fucking purchase won. And they gave me a check for my total purchase, which I then turned around, I cashed the check, immediately paid off the card, and I was like, look at that, look, I'm responsible. And I got hired there as seasonal. I think I started working there and like, no, it had to have been a Christmas thing, not a birthday thing, because I got hired in December. I'm going in with the uh, NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in So Taupe, and I'm just doing a little bit of contouring. Anyways, um, I got hired there in December. I was put in like the woman's clothing department, so I was working like, you know, the fitting room, keeping the floor clean, folding clothes, all that really wonderful shit, right? It didn't take me long to like get my bearings on it, to be honest once I knew where everything was, right? And of course I wasn't like the floor supervisor for that department. So when new arrivals would come, I'd be one of the, you know, little closing employees that then I would have to relearn where everything was. But once you kind of figure out where all the brands are, it's pretty easy to figure it out. But yeah, I uh, started in December and I think right after Christmas, the girl who was running that department was fired. I think she was supposed to be fired before Christmas, but she, uh, I, I think they just kind of were stuck between a rock and a hard place on, you know, Christmas and all that. I do remember my hours going up drastically before that. Like I was picking up and like, I was basically doing her job after having only been there for like a month. And then beginning of January, they ran like in-store applications or whatever to fill the position. And I was like, well, I mean, I'm here. And that would have turned it into a full-time job, you know? And I think it was like the same week that they like announced that my receipt got paid for for my massive purchase was the same week that I found out that I had gotten the promotion. So then I was the fucking floor supervisor for the women's clothing department at Kohl's. And the very first thing I did was pay to replace my very, 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 very shitty car. I like sat down and did the math on it. And I was like, okay, this is how much I'm making. Kohl's, was also, Kohl's is also weird, they pay weekly. So you get smaller paychecks, but you get paid like literally every single week, which is great. Honestly, I miss that setup. I sat down and I did the math and I was like, okay, this is how much I make a week. So this is how much I make in a month. These are my current bills that I had going out, which I think I still lived at home at the time. So my bills, consisted of like my student loans and that was oh and my Kohl's card excuse me my Kohl's card but that was it you know I wasn't paying rent I wasn't like I'd buy food but like I wasn't you know buying food for a house like I am now kind of thing I wasn't paying you know utilities or anything like that I sat down and I was like how much can I realistically afford every single month and I honestly went into trading in that old car on the assumption that they were literally just gonna take it off of my hands. I honestly thought I might have to pay for them to take it. I was like, this thing's shit. It was like, 
an old like 2005 Chevy Equinox that I had when I went to school, like when I went to college. And so I'd be living in San Diego and commuting to LA, which is 200 miles there and back every week, sometimes multiple times a week. I think within the first year of owning that car, I put 100,000 miles on it in one year. And there was, you know, the car was not, I mean, we, we maintained like, you know, oil changes and tires and, you know, the things that make it run, but like the car was kind of shitty to begin with. But it was also the kind of car that was like, it was already so shitty that it had been in like a couple very, very, very minor accidents. Like I'm talking people backing into it in a parking lot and stuff like that. Like nothing that affected its ability to run or anything like that. Like I'm talking like the kind of accidents where like I was in it and like I didn't even feel it the next day sort of thing. So like, you know, the front bumper was dented. I think the back bumper was also dented. I got backed into multiple times in one year. But the big one, I remember the big, the big one was, uh, I'm all over the place with this story, but I remember the big bender, bender in that car was, I decided to go back to community college after I graduated from FITM, honestly solely so that I didn't have to start paying student loans immediately. And uh, it was the first day of school at a community college. So everyone under the sun was looking for parking and I was there like an hour early because I knew how this was going to go. It was not my first semester there, you know, like I, I knew what, how this was going to go. And near where my classes were was a parking structure, perusing the parking structure with other people, right? We're all perusing, trying to find a fucking parking spot and there's, there's none, no parking spots. And there's a car directly in front of me. And I'm not like riding their ass, mind you, like, but there's a car in front of me. And we come up to a parking spot, like the parking spot, the only parking spot, mind you. And the dude in front of me throws his car in reverse. No reverse lights on this car at all. Throws his car in reverse and just floors it backwards didn't fucking look didn't pay attention no warning to me until suddenly the car was coming at me right and uh he just slams into my fucking bumper like right at my headlight surprisingly my headlight didn't break but there my, it had a nice dent and so we get out we you know exchange information i look at him and i'm like that parking spot's mine now I was like, you did this and now I'm gonna be late for class. That parking spot's mine. I luckily was not late for class. Since we did like exchange information and it was a sizable dent, I did go through insurance for the whole thing. But like it didn't impact the way the car was driving and it was already kind of a shitty car and I already kind of knew that I'd planned on driving that car into the ground anyway. So this was the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlight in Truth as my blush topper. See, I went and got it, like, uh, assessed or whatever for damage. And then the people told the insurance company how much it was going to be. And I chose to just get paid out on it. Because I was, you know, 18 and... 18 or 19 and... No, I think I was 21. Regardless. I was young. And I had, like, no money. The dent did not impact the way the car drove, so why the fuck would I get it fixed when I could also just have $1,500? Anyways, my point being is when I went to go get rid of that car, I was like, this car's not worth a penny. Like, they're not going to give me anything for it. I'm probably gonna have to pay them to take it from me. But I was like, I need a new car. Like, it was to the point where like, and I realized in hindsight now this was OCD. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Face Palette for my highlights the satin sheets shade. Anyways, it was to the point where like, if I would drive it longer distances, like if I was going up to LA with friends or, you know, whatever, um, I would have like anxiety the whole time. Like little things like, you know, road ha roads have texture to them. And sometimes that texture makes the car feel like it's shaking 
towards the end of that car's life with me at least i have no idea where it, what <laughs> what it did after we broke up but um like i'd be like driving to like la or something like that and the road would be making the car feel like it's shaking and i would literally like i would get off the freeway and i would drive on the street for a minute to be like was that the road or was that my car like it, i was so filled with anxiety that like something was gonna happen to the car when I was like driving by myself that I was like this is not this car is not fucking sustainable I need to get rid of it like immediately and this was in like 2014 I want to say and so I was like looking at you know cars online and stuff like that and I found like a really cute little silver 2012 Mazda 3 the little ones that look like they had Pikachu's eyes for like it just looked reminded me of Pikachu like just the really cute like angled uh, headlights and stuff like that super cute car 20,000 miles on it or something like that and it was only like I think it was like $18,000 or something honestly it was very underpriced for the car but this was also 2014 so I'm looking at this from a 2023 lens I was like that's it that's that's the car like, and I went down and I test drove it and my parents helped me with a little bit of a down payment on it just so it was a little bit more feasible. Shockingly, they gave me $1,000 for my shitty car. But yeah, that was the first thing I did after I got that, pr that big promotion at Kohl's. I loved that little car. Someone dead stopped on a freeway. Like three cars in front of me. We didn't make it. And we didn't make it. Anyways. <laughs> I am going to go finish up the rest of my face. And I will be right back. I'm going to be honest. I love that time of the year. When I can wear like. A crop top and a flannel. And a beanie. Like. Still warm enough. To wear like a crop top. But like. Toss a cute little flannel over it. And like a beanie. Love it so much. Real quick, for my lips, I used the Maybelline Vinyl Ink Lipstick in the shade Peachy, just for like a soft, because like obviously my eyes are pretty <laughs> intense. And this is the final look, and here is to 32. I don't know how I feel about saying that out loud, but it's happening. I can't stop it. So that's that. Love my Bad Omens beanie. Love my little... I love my makeup, but I love my little, like, you know, callback to my youth makeup look. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know how old you are. I would love to hear. Give me the answer. Oh, I just want to know. Curious. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.